Some days you win, some days you lose. Today, I lost. Traders, just uh, before I take off uh, for the weekend, a uh, short lesson about uh, catching falling knives. We're going to talk a little bit about it. Uh, just a quick look at uh, my account here. As you can see here, I'm going to finish down today. I'm down seven grand, seven and a half grand today. Two losing trades, Baidu and uh, Baba. One nice winner, which is still going uh, BA. But, well, you know, I'm not fighting my way back today because it is a Friday and it's, uh, you know, the market's not making a big move today and I feel like I should <laughs> kind of stop around here. I mean, if, the, if an IPO would come um, in the next few minutes, I'll probably take it if, if it will come with nice volume. But other than that, I'm just going to finish red for the day. I did have a great week, though, because I have two losing days. The second one was around, I mean, altogether like 10 grand, but uh, two amazing green days over $45,000 so I'm going to finish around $35,000 in green to, for this week so really a good week for me now let's talk a little bit about uh, catching falling knives take a look at VIPS daily this stock was at $46 recently just three days ago and came all the way down today to $29 or so so that's a huge breakdown I know a lot of people who would love to buy stocks that looks like that and when you take a look at uh, VIPS daily I have to say it's uh, uh, well it's quite challenging I mean people love to buy stocks which are I would consider them uh, falling knives and um, I'll tell you a short story about a guy I met in fact was a golf buddy of mine I used to meet him quite a lot I no longer meet him uh, because he's um, not playing golf that much and one of the reasons he's not playing golf is because he lost a lot of money but back on these days when we were still playing together golf he was making a lot of money by catching falling knives so he was looking for stocks like VIPS on the daily and buying he used to do that that was his job and I have to say I always kind of looked at it uh, in a way that was uh, kind of surprised I mean does he really do that well he was telling me a lot of uh, success stories about how much money is he done with this stock or with that stock and I kind of started taking a look at it and I, I didn't think I should uh, I didn't think I should uh, you know uh, do it myself or anything like that but I was kind of surprised I mean does he have like this uh, amazing touch finding the right stocks uh, that are gapping down and then he just buys them catching falling knives well, uh, the party was over and um, that also triggered him to, I mean, he lost a lot of money. He lost his account uh, because, you know, th the thing is when you catch falling knife, you normally buy it when it's down and then when it continued to come down, he used to add or to average down on his losses because you look at the daily of VIPS and it does not look to you like it's logical that it's going to continue coming down I mean look at the daily right now does it do you feel like this stock can continue coming down or maybe you should put some put in some uh, money and buy some stocks and it's hopefully hopefully going to bounce back up well tell you what his success rate was over 80 percent his success rate but ever once in a while, and, and that's a lot, and that's a lot of course, but ever once in a while you have one big loser that just doesn't come up, just doesn't come up. We, we normally say, I mean it's a trader's jokes, we say stocks don't always come back. Parents to children who got lost in a mall do come back, that's the only thing that really comes back. Stocks doesn't always, sometimes it just continue to come down and they continue to come down and this guy was averaging them down and yes his success rate was still high because he was averaging them down and then when they finally came up a little bit maybe he would have you know moved out of the stock without uh, losing money but you know when you start averaging down you in deep in the hole and you're just praying for the stock to move up because if it's going to continue come down then you're going to have a huge loser it's like please i promise you i'm going to stop smoking or whatever please go up one dollar stuff like that I've seen people praying like that seriously and you know what most of the time they're right most of the time when you're averaging down you have a winner the thing is what happens to the one out of ten or sometimes one out of twenty that just doesn't come up that's when you lose your account that's when you lose your account that point is when you're out of the game you're just not going to come back 
and this guy uh, from <laughs> a golf buddy of mine uh, turned out to be uh, an employee in the golf club who was cutting grass and actually doing more than that. But the thing is, doesn't really matter. He lost his account, he lost his money, he lost his wife too. Uh, it's a sad story, I'm not going to get into it right now, but uh, the thing is, it all started with catching falling knives. Now, when some of you guys mentioned VIPS today, this morning, I took at the, day, at the intraday look at the, I took a, a look at the intraday formation of VIPS, and it was right over here. Now forget about what happened uh, later. At that point, once VIPS was trending higher, I took a look at it and I loved it for the long side. I loved it. The stock started with a gap down today, then moved up quite strong, pulled back down looks uh, was moving up over here and at that point right here when I took a look at uh, the first the first initial look when I watched VIPS it looked to me like a beautiful uptrend with a lot of momentum and that's how a stock that you really want to go long looks like then I paused a little bit and I took a look at uh, the daily of VIPS the one we just discussed so take a look at what happened daily and yes this I, I immediately understood that this upside move was due to guys like my golf buddy who used to buy these stocks when they're down but these guys do not dictate what's coming next there's sometimes a very good reason why stock is coming down well there's always a very good reason why stock is coming down from 46 dollars to 29 dollars there's a very good reason for that and sometimes the rhythm is just there and the stock is going to continue coming down. So when you take a look at the daily, you know that the ones who are really buying this intraday move, the ones who are really buying are the ones who are averaging down their losses or just catching falling knives. You do not want to go long. Once I took a look at the daily, immediately I mentioned in, in the trading room, don't do it. Don't go long. I'm not sure the person who asked me was in, intention was to go long. Actually, I've seen some of you guys shorting it today. That takes a lot of bra a lot of courage too, I have to say. But look at what happened, because once these guys who are averaging down are out of the game, the the, the you know the long term investors, so called, are more frightened and are selling more than the people who are buying into these stocks and that's why the stock crashed and I mentioned that before it crashed I said you know these stocks are likely to fail you just don't know where they're going to stop uptrending and they're going to come down crashing and that's exactly what happened to VIPS now does it always happen no but it happens quite a lot you're not supposed to be catching falling knives. You're not supposed to be intraday going long, a stock that looks as good as VIPS looked, because you just take a look at the daily, you know why it's going up. Again, those guys who are averaging down and they're likely to lose money. And therefore, you just ignore this beautiful uptrend and you just go short. And again, some of you guys shorted it and did very, very well with that. So just... Uh, if you ever been successful by catching falling knives, if you ever, you know, bought stocks which are or still looking for stocks which are coming down dramatically like VIPS and buying some, you know, just holding, hoping it's going to go up. I promise you, you're going to make money more than you're going to lose money. But once you're going to lose money, it's going to be big time in buckets. And at that point, you're probably going to be out of the game because you will not resist the point where you need to, where you feel like you're going to average down your loss, stuff like that. And even if you think you're not going to do it, sometimes you will and just take just one trade to take you out of the game. So, you know, in this game, when we're trading, you have to keep the rules uh, and, and, and keep on going with the rules and, you know, Yes, sometimes you go the wrong ways. I do make my own mistakes every once in a while, but not big mistakes. Going long a stock like VIPS or averaging down a losing trade is a big mistake. That's something we all need to avoid. So that's it for me. That's my two cents for the day. Just remember this. It's very, very important. It will keep you floating long enough until you hopefully become a successful trader. It takes years to become a successful trader. Just don't make these big, huge mistakes that will take you out of the game. 
I want to wish you all a great weekend. Just enjoy your weekend and uh, we'll meet all next week. I'll be flying to Berlin on Sunday, so I'll be training next week from Berlin. So uh, just uh, enjoy your weekend. Stay safe and green and enjoy the rest of the day. And um, again, see you all next week. Bye, traders.